Hello everybody and welcome to Pignet. If you're not familiar with my channel, nice to meet you. My name is Jessie and I'm a freelance illustrator. Every week I upload videos consisting of speed drawings, art vlogs, and a sprinkling of tutorials. So if you're interested, or if you just want a fellow art buddy, subscribe today to stay in the loop. Today I'm doing another tiny Copic marker food drawing. And I'm drawing a cupcake. All art supplies used in this video will be linked in the description box below. The color pencils I'm using, however, will not be linked because they're just Crayolas. This is one of several tiny food videos that I have on my channel, so if you want to see more, I'm going to link them at the end of this video. I'm always looking for more suggestions on food drawings, so if you have an idea for food that you'd like to see, let me know in the comment section below. This cupcake in particular was my third version of cupcakes. Sometimes I'll practice my tiny food drawings before I film because I don't want to make a dang fool of myself on camera. And overall I wasn't really happy with the color scheme I had chosen. And I decided to go with something a little more like realistic. Some might say boring I suppose. But I know that cupcakes can come in like a lot of different color schemes but I just wanted something a little more classic. The second cupcake I drew, I switched to pink frosting and I filmed it on Tuesday when it was like gloriously sunny. And I filmed it in front of my new office back door so that it would be nice and bright. However, my camera stops filming every 10 to 15 minutes. I think it's a safety feature that most cameras have. Um, I'm thinking maybe to prevent the camera from overheating. I don't know what the exact reason would be, but both of my cameras do this. so. You have to make sure that you hit record. Once it stops recording, you have to hit record again. During that filming, I kept getting up to get like more colored pencils and stuff from the other room. And I don't think I have to tell you what happens next. Okay, I will. I only caught the first 10 minutes of filming because at some point when I was out of the room, it stopped recording. And then when I came back, I never hit record again because I forgot. And in general, Tuesday was a pretty crappy day for me. So when I took the footage off of my camera and I realized that I only caught the first 10 minutes, I wasn't really feeling up to redrawing it again. Also, sometimes people like to know how long it takes me to do these. This one took about 16 minutes. So in hindsight, it's kind of funny because I was like so like salty. I didn't feel like redrawing just 16 minutes, you know, but that was the mood I was in that day. I redrew it on Wednesday, and of course on Wednesday it poured all day long so the lighting was really crappy, so I tried my best to fix the lighting a little bit, but I'm still new to Premiere so I don't really know what I'm doing, so I had issues fixing the lighting. This cupcake is my third version, but actually I think I'm happiest with how this one turned out, so I feel like... It was meant to be because the second to last cupcake was not so great and I feel like this one turned out better. I guess it's a good thing I redrew it. Oh, quick update on how Premiere Pro is going. Um... I recently uploaded a vlog, if you guys hadn't seen that. And I forced myself to use Premiere to edit it, even though it would have been a million times easier and a million times faster to do it in iMovie because I'm so comfortable with iMovie. It was painful. It took me five straight hours. But I learned a couple of new things. So I think in the end it was worth it. And I'm feeling more comfortable in general with the program, which to me is like milestones. Um, a couple of things that I learned were a couple of hotkeys and I learned how to make clips fade in and out much easier, like a really easy way to do it. And I also got a better handle on how to navigate the timeline because that was one thing that the first time I used Premiere there's two sides where if you click and drag, you can change the size of the slider, which also changes the size of the like 
clips and I was like getting all confused with that like I had no idea what I was doing so this time I think I finally have a handle on that and that's a big deal because that was really frustrating. There are still a lot of things that I don't know how to do like and it's the little things that are really frustrating like sometimes I'll go to click and drag a clip and it's no problem and then sometimes I'll click and drag it and I'll get this little icon that means I can't click and drag it even though five seconds later I'll try it again and it will work. It's like a matter of like dragging it to the right spot or clicking the right spot. I don't know. That's something that I'll have to get used to and I'll just it just comes with time but it's like so frustrating. One thing I need to figure out though is my preferred layout of all the panels. I think that's a personal preference so it'll just take some time to get used to. I'm, I'm figuring it out. It, it'll be okay. And that's kind of just how this goes. When you're learning new programs it's really frustrating at first and you have no idea what you're doing but little by little you get more comfortable and then the next thing you know you feel incredibly comfortable using it and then you can brag to all your friends. Let me know in the comment section below what should be my question today. Um, if you like cupcakes, what's your favorite flavor? I've always liked the idea of the red velvet ones because they often have cream cheese frosting but unfortunately I'm one of those people who can taste red food coloring so they are usually like really nasty to me. I think that's a gene people have or they don't have. So that's a secondary question. Are you one of those people that can taste food coloring? Like for example, Justin, my husband, cannot, but I totally can. So if I see a birthday cake and it has this really pigmented food coloring in the frosting, especially pinks and purples, I just know for, like I'm not even going to eat the frosting because it's going to taste awful to me. I don't know what it is, but I remember I had that problem too with pink and purple gumballs when I was little. Like if I ever got a gumball out of the machine and it was pink or purple, I'd just have to throw it out because it was disgusting. And I always wondered why people liked those, like why did they make that color if they tasted so nasty? And I think it just turns out some people can't taste that food coloring so their gumballs would taste fine. I don't know. I have no idea. So that just about wraps this up. I know that a lot of you like these tiny foods, so they're pretty fun to do. They're kind of like one of my videos that I'll do if my week has a lot of stuff going on and I need just a, a quick and fun little video because it only takes me 15 minutes to film this usually, so it's not too bad. Let me know if you have any food ideas for future videos. I already have a few written down, so there might be some that are like already done. I know a lot of people said tiny sushi. I think that's a really cool idea. It sounds really hard though, doesn't it? But someday I'll take on that challenge. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next week.